students we forgot to discuss the try these of page number 109 of your book so let us start discussing that there are six parts in this uh, in these try these and the first five parts you have to do in book only and the last part you have to do in notebook so let us start discussing that the first is it is given that line l is parallel to m and t is a transversal and the question asks that what is the measurement of x so if l is parallel to m can you tell me what type of angles are they x and 60 so they are alternate interior angles and you know if l is parallel to m then always the alternate interior angles are equal so we can write x equals to 60 degree and in bracket you can write the reason alternate interior angles now the b part line a and b are parallel here this is a this is b they are parallel it is given and c is transversal here here c acts as transversal so measurement of angle y you can see it is again they both are you can turn and you can see or otherwise also you can tell that these are alternate interior angles and in if the two lines are parallel then alternate interior angles are always equal so angle y equals to 55 degree and write the reason in the bracket that is alternate interior angles now the third part l1 and l2 be two lines t is a transversal is angle 1 equal to angle 2 they are two lines it is not given that they are parallel so can an angle 1 and angle 2 are equal so it is clearly visible also they are not parallel and if the lines are not parallel the alternate interior angles are not equal so we can say angle 1 is not equal to angle 2 here so we can write no also okay but in book only now the next part is you can see again here the l is parallel to m given and t is a transversal again the t is transversal we have to find the value of z angle z now these two angles are the interior angles on the same side of the transversal and you know their sum the angles towards the same side of the transversal the interior angle the sum should be 180 they are supplementary then we can find the value in this manner of angle z and that is 120 degree so you can do this in book only now next part again these two are given parallel and asked that what is x t is a transversal here and we have to tell the measurement of angle x the measurement of angle x here is 120 degree why because they are parallel this is transversal and they are corresponding angles so angle x equal to 120 degree degree and you can write the reason as they are pair of corresponding angles you can write the reason in the book itself now this question we will uh, discuss in the properly and uh, we will have to do this question in notebook so let us start how you are going to do in this question you can see that we have to find out a b c d four angles we have to find out and here again the l is given parallel to m and p is given parallel to q okay so now we need to find out now if how can we solve this question in this question as as p parallel to q it is given and here l acts as l is an is a transversal if l is a transversal then angle a plus 60 degree should be equals to 180 degree you know the reason because they are the co interior angles or we can say they are the interior angles towards the same side of the transfer so the sum should be 180 but don't forget to write the reason here okay the reason is so this is the reason interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary you can write this reason now a we have find out how we can find out angle a equals to 180 degree minus 60 degree equals to 120 degree we can write now 
again now we can see that l is parallel to m and this time we are taking q acts as a transversal q is transversal so you can see i have given the name angle 1 to this angle which we need not uh, to find out as per the question but for our ease i have given the name and i need to we need to find out so angle a equals to angle 1 here what is the reason they are corresponding angles corresponding angles actually pair of corresponding angles so angle a equals to angle 1 and angle a we already know that is 120 so angle 1 equals to 120 degrees now angle 1 will help us to find out angle d so what can be the angle d is equal to angle 1 and that is 120 and why they are equal vertically opposite angles so that's why we find out angle 1 now as we come to know the angle d we can easily find angle b also how because angle 1 and b they together form a linear pair and d and b also form a linear pair so we can find out in any way uh, i am writing angle 1 plus angle b equals to 180 degree reason by linear pair we can write so in this way we can find out angle b b equals to 180 degree minus angle 1 and angle 1 we know that is 120 so 180 degree minus 120 degree the answer is 60 degree so in this way angle b equals to 60 degree okay now only one angle is left to find out that is angle c and angle c is vertically opposite to angle b so we can write angle c equals to angle b equals to 60 degree reason vertically opposite angles so in this way we have find out all the four angles which are asked so this is the solution of this try these and that you have to do in notebook thank you students